Hey guys, this is Christian Watts, and this is a, a special edition of Truth and Reality. And it's one where I just want to share with you my heart for worship. And, uh, you know, worship, I believe, is more of a verb than a noun. It can be both, but worship is when we recognize how incredible God is, how awesome He is, how much He deserves our praise, how worthy He is, how unworthy we are, and we offer our lives up to Him as living sacrifices. You know, this is our acceptable worship, the Bible tells us. It's not just music. It's not just preaching. It's not just something we do on Sundays. It's something we do every day. Now, one of the things that I do is I lead our church and at times other groups of folks in times of corporate worship. And let me share with you what my prayer and my desire is during that time. And it doesn't matter whether it's in a contemporary setting or a traditional setting or, or you know, it really doesn't matter, you know, uh, what type of setting it is. My heart is still the same, and it's this. In fact, I want to use an analogy. You know, I believe that, you know, as I lead music and worship uh, for a corporate setting, it is literally a vehicle that you and I have the opportunity to utilize to have a connection with God or to, to connect with God in the mindset of worship. It's just one way that we worship. And so when we sing congregationally, when the choir sings, maybe somebody sings a solo or whatever, those are all opportunities for us to worship. Just like when somebody prays in a corporate setting, it is an opportunity for us to agree in prayer with them and to join us in a corporate setting to pray with them. And so when we come together in worship, my prayer is, is that that vehicle that is there, that everyone that is in that place will find a way for that vehicle to be utilized for them to worship. Now, let me give you an example that I'm uh, using with the vehicle analogy. If I had a car, and I had it filled up with gas, it ran good and everything else, and you needed to get from here to from point A to point B. And it was too far to walk, but the car was there, the keys were in it, and you were able to use it. You know, here's the thing. You know, you can get in that car, and you can drive that car, and you can get from point A to point B, or you can say, I'm not going to get in that car, and I'm not going to utilize it, and I'm gonna you know stay where I am and I feel like you know worship is kind of that same way when we sing hymns on Sunday morning when we sing songs of praise when the choir sings you know those are opportunities for us to get in that vehicle and to have that connection with God from go to where we are to where he is whether it be on our knees and our heart with our voices with our minds with everything that we have and so my goal week in and week out is to create an environment to where people can worship, where people can, can uh, utilize whatever vehicle that we've put before them for that morning and worship. And I understand that people hear differently, people see differently. A lot of people like different styles of worship, you know, and I can, you know, the car analogy applies to that too. I drive a truck you might drive a sedan and you like a sedan and that's your vehicle of choice. Somebody might like contemporary worship, somebody might like traditional worship. That's okay, you know, but whatever it is that allows you to connect with God, that is the most important thing, is that you utilize that vehicle to connect with God. And so, you know, on Sunday mornings we try, and I'll just speak from the perspective of where I'm at at First Baptist Tullahoma, we try every week to try to create an environment with the audio, with the multimedia, with the hymns, with the praise songs, you know, in both of our services to allow you the opportunity to worship. Do we always have the most conducive environment for that? No. Are there, are there times when, when uh, you know, we have a sound issue or we have a multimedia issue or maybe it's not as balanced as it should be? Man, absolutely. And you know, but I want you to know we work very hard. I work very hard. And I 
and I take it personally because I care that our worship is the best it can be. And so we're working week in and week out to do that. And, you know, we do that with volunteer leadership. And these folks, many of them are working behind the scenes in very thankless positions, trying to do their best to also help create that environment of worship. So I just wanted to share my heart with you a little bit when, when it comes to this and let you know that my desire is that all those who know Jesus Christ and who want to worship God are able to do that in corporate settings of worship and especially those that that I have control over that I'm leading you know it's ultimately God who does the work God who is the one that we're worshiping but we have to choose whether we are going to enter into that time where we're going to worship him and sometimes that means and let me end with this sometimes that means that the environment might not be the most conducive environment you might say man the, the sounds just off today but God is still God and you are still you and you have a responsibility, I believe, as a Christian to worship him in spirit and in truth in all circumstances. Just like in life, we worship him through the good and through the bad. We worship him in our times of corporate worship, man, when the sound makes a loud noise, you know, we still give him praise. You know, when the multimedia isn't quite right, we still give him praise. When the music leader, which, uh, you know, of course, I never, I never mess up just kidding, you know, makes a mistake. We continue to worship because God is on the throne. And so I want you to think about that next time you go to your church, maybe you're a part of our church, think about that and come to worship, ready to worship God for who he is and knowing that, uh, that really ultimately worship is your responsibility. And uh, we're going to do our best to try to create an environment that you can do just that. This is Christian Watts with Truth and Reality for a special edition of uh, My Heart for Worship for You. And uh, I hope it uh, helps you a little bit to understand where I'm coming from.